Simplifying ratios, making math easier. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving deep into the world of ratios, a crucial concept in GMAT and GRE math. Ratios are everywhere, from comparing prices at the grocery store to understanding vast global statistics. But fear not. We're going to break down the idea of simplifying ratios to make it easy and approachable for everyone. Let's get started. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities. Think of it as a fraction, where one number is compared to another. For instance, if you have two apples and three bananas, the ratio of apples to bananas is two to three. Imagine you're looking at a recipe that says you need 10 cups of flour and 20 cups of sugar. That's a lot of ingredients, right? But the ratio is actually 1 to 2, a simpler way to understand the relationship. Simplifying ratios helps in 1. Understanding the relationship better 2. Saving time during tests 3. Reducing mistakes, as working with smaller numbers is generally easier. 1. Identify the ratio. Find out what two quantities you're comparing. Could be anything. Apples to bananas, cars to bikes, stars to planets. 2. Find the greatest common divisor. GCD. This is the largest number that can divide both parts of your ratio without any remainder. For 10 and 20, the GCD is 10. 3. Divide both numbers by the GCD. Using our example, 10, 10, frac, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 20, 10, frac, 20, 10, 10, 20 gives us 1 and 2 respectively. 4. Write the simplified ratio. You've got your numbers, and now you just write them down in the ratio format. For our example, it's 1 to 2. Let's try another example. Suppose you have a ratio of 1624. 1. The GCD of 16 and 24 is 8. 2. Dividing both by 8, we get 2 and 3 respectively. 3. So, the simplified ratio is 2 to 3. Always remember to practice with various examples to get a firm grip on the concept. There you have it. Simplifying ratios isn't just a handy tool for your GMAT and GRE tests, but a life skill that helps make sense of numbers in real-world scenarios. The more you practice, the easier it gets. We hope this video shed light on this fundamental math concept, and we encourage you to explore more. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.